This is Alex from PHP Academy and this is a PHP tutorial for the new Boston. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about uh, assignment operators. Now assignment operators in PHP we've already seen a few. For example if I was to say uh, number 1 equals 10. We've already used an assignment operator here. This is the um, uh, is assigning a value of 10 to this variable. So it's not is equal to, we're not comparing anything, that's a comparison operator. We are assigning this value. Now, what happens if I wanted to, uh, let's create another variable, say number 2 equals 5. Now, if I wanted to, for example, create a result, um, and I wanted this to um, equal 10, oh no, I wanted this to equal number 1 plus uh, 2. And here I'm trying to achieve the result 12. In fact, let's get rid of this number 2 now for conf so we don't confuse ourselves. So we've got number 1, um, we're assigning the value of 10 to this. Now we're assigning the value, um, a value to result, and this value is 10 plus 2. Now, how can we use this in shorthand. We've already seen this basic assignment operator here. However, there is a lot of a lot quicker way to do this. And this would be to say number 1 plus equals 2. Now what this is saying in plain English, English is number 1, so we're saying 10 equals not equals um 10 plus 2. So we are taking the value and just adding on two rather than creating it as a long uh, string, a uh, long line of code. Sorry. So let's refresh this and we see that we've got. Oh no, we need to echo it out. So echo number one. So we're assigning up here. We're performing an operation on here, but we're, we are reassigning a value and then we're echoing out the value here. So let's refresh. And you see we've got the value 12. So we've used plus equals as opposed to, we could say number 1 equals number 1 plus 2. But removing the whole of this, we can just say plus equals. So that's a lot easier way to uh, demonstrate that. Now, for example, we could use the same thing with minus equals. So let's uh, refresh that. And we're left with a value 8. So we're doing exactly the same thing. We're saying number 1 equals number one minus two but instead we're doing minus equals so it's an easy shorthand version to do things uh, we can do the same as well as multiply so here we'll receive the result 20 and that works and the same with divide as well you can use exactly the same thing so we're going to say 10 divided by 2 and that's going to be equal to 5 um, you can also do the modulus so in this case um, we're going to be left with 0 because there's no remainder however if we were to change this to 3 we get the remainder 1 so you can see how already we're shorthanding the code it's a lot easier to program, it's a lot quicker to program and as far as looking at it as a whole uh, it's as long as you learn the way it looks um, and convert it into plain English in your mind uh, well enough you'll understand it straight away so you can just say yeah that's uh, number one equals number one plus two now we can also um, use concatenation with the equals uh, we've already looked at concatenation in some of the past videos um, but what we can do is we can work with string data. So I'm going to say text equals hello. Now, what if I wanted to concatenate some text onto this to make it say hello world? Uh, obviously, this is a useless example, but now you'll get the feel of how we can concatenate on easily. All I need to do is I need to say text dot, remember we use dot for concatenation, dot equals, I'm going to put a space in there and say world. So let's just comment this line out. Um, as it stands, we uh, refresh the page. Ooh. Remember to echo out the text down here. Uh, we refresh the page and we get the text hello. Now, if we bring this back into play just by taking out them uh, that comment there, we're saying text equals text, and then we're concatenating this on. So it's the same as saying... Um, it's the same as saying... Um, well, it's the same as basically having this up here like that. Um, 
obviously, like I said, a useless example, but it shows you how they, how it can be done. And later on, when you're obviously programming complex programs, this is useful. So if we refresh, we get that, hello world. So these are basic examples of um, assignment operators and how we assign different values um, to other variables or plain, plain text itself in PHP.